Hello, hello, Virgo. How are you today? This is Nikki. And welcome to the Earthly Virgo. So I'm going to do a reading. What do you need to know? Okay, I have an idea. Okay. I want to sell raffle tickets to you guys. Okay. Um, not sure exactly what I will sell the ticket for just yet, but I want to do some readings depending on the, the raffle ticket, the different tiers of depends on how many the more raffle tickets you buy the better your chances are at getting a, a reading okay um there will be different times different kinds of readings it could be an hour reading it could be a reading over the phone if you live in the united states um it can be a reading uh, we'll figure it out i'll figure it out as i go along so if you all want to participate in the raffle let me know so i can start getting everything together and we'll just sell raffle tickets you'll get an email with i'm going to take a picture send the the coupon to you, uh, your side of the coupon, it'll have your name on the back. And I'm just going to put the raffle. I'm going to pull at a particular time, but it depends on how much I sell. So if you're interested in this raffle ticket sale, let me know. Okay. Just going to try to do something different and something unique for you all. All right. All right. Let's get started, Virgos. What do you need to know right now, Virgo? What does Virgo need to know right now? We have here the Queen of Swords. Okay, Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? There's a communication here. Um, and we have the hangman, but but somebody's not saying what they really want to say. Okay. Somebody wants to say something, but there's some sort of hold up. Maybe you're waiting to say something. Maybe you're waiting for that person to come home or for you to see this person again before you actually say something to him or her. Okay, Virgo. We have, you know, so this may be a situation. We also have the, the King of Swords. Maybe you're wanting to tell, waiting for this person to come back into your life so you can tell him or her how much they hurt you. Okay, this could be some mutual energy as well. Well, you're telling me I hurt you. Well, hell, you hurt me too. We both hurt each other. We both played a part in this heartache and pain. Okay. Somebody's hung up. Somebody, you know, they said something to you or whatever, and it, it hurt you. Okay. You want to say something to this person because you still have hangups about how this person treated you, about what this person did. But this person realized, like, yeah, I hurt you. Okay. Clarify this King of Swords energy on, on how they feel about hurting you, Virgo. How do they feel about hurting you? The Eight of Pentacles. Almost as if they, they ignored it. They, they said what they did or they did whatever it was they did, but they ignored it. Okay, They didn't want to deal with the feelings uh, and of breaking your heart. They, they, it, they didn't want it to affect them in any way. So they they went on about their life and did what they needed to do and didn't think too too much about it. Okay. How did it make you feel? This person hurt you, Virgo. How did it make you feel? You want to know what the hell, you know, um, you want to know why he or she did this to you. They went on about their lives, but you want answers. You want an explanation. Okay. Why did you do this? You know, what did I do to you to make you hurt me the way you did? I didn't deserve to be treated that way. Okay. That's what you want to know. Okay. We have this page of wands here for you, Virgo. Um, it's like, because you want to learn, you know, you, you're seeking guidance from this person. You know, you want some motherfucking answers. Like, why did you do this? There was no call for that. I would have never done you that way. I would have never treated you that way. And we have here, then they're going to be very, very, um, <clears throat> they really don't want to hear what you have to say. Um, and it's not because they don't care. It's, it's more so of the fact that because they don't want to deal with the feelings. So they're going to get up all in their feelings all up and be defensive about it. Okay. Kind of resistance. Well, you told me you didn't want to have anything else to do with, to, with me. You don't want to have, you don't want to hear anything I have to say anyway. Very, very mad and angry at you like you the motherfucking problem. You the motherfucking problem. <laughs> what did uh Angela Bassett say to uh <laughs> to her husband John and and um and um 
waiting to exhale. You the motherfucking whatever she said. You the problem or something like that. That's what that's what I feel here. You you tell this person you the problem. I'm not the problem. You did me that way. Why are you putting this on me? Like this is my fault. Okay. Message here for Virgo. This motherfucking person. This is their motherfucking problem. What's your motherfucking problem? The Eight of Cups. We got the Eight of Cups here twice. You want to know? <laughs> you know, it's like you're seeking in for you're seeking out answers as to why this person did you this way, why they hurt you, why they left it, left you. Whatever this person did to you, it was wrong, and you want to figure out what the hell going on. Okay, I need to know before I move on with my life. I need to know, and you may not even want the answers from this person. You may be really looking at a lot of, of tarot readings because you're seeking out answers. Why did this person do this to you? You want to know because you feel a little stuck and, and hurt. I'm hearing deeply hurt, deeply wounded because of what this person did to you. You want to know, you know. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> It's like, and we have a three of swords. Wow. So you're hurting because we have a three of swords here twice. And you got people just tell you, just leave it alone. You know, it's not even worth it. You know, don't even worry about it. Move on. You could do so much better than worrying about this person because we have the three of swords here twice. So you don't need this. You know, just let it go. Sometimes it may be hard to move on from people who have hurt you very good, but you do it for your own good. OK, you may not ever find out why this person, why this person did, the, why they hurt you so deeply. I feel that this person hurt you so deeply is beyond your comprehension. But sometimes it's not meant for us to know. Sometimes spirit just shoots those negative energies away from us for the glory of our own good. So we won't hurt more so in the long run. OK, you got to let it go. This is a tough pill for you to swallow. I get it. But listen, you deserve better. OK. You deserve better. You don't deserve to be treated this way. You didn't deserve what this person gave you. This person hurt you to the core. All right. Messages from Virgo. What do you need to know now? What does Virgo need to know now? This person has a problem. You know what? Let's see. Okay, what do you need to know now, Virgo? Why did this person hurt you so deeply? Why did this person hurt you so deeply, Virgo? Why did this person hurt Virgo so deeply, Spirit? Let's see. Got the Eight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Why did this person hurt you so deeply? six of pentacles they didn't know what they wanted you know they had you but they were also seeing somebody else okay it doesn't it doesn't necessarily have to be a a sex thing uh but they were seeing somebody else it could have been an emotional connection they had with somebody there we go with the eight of cups so we have the ace of cups and we have the, the ace of pentacles so they, they saw other opportunities elsewhere outside of the relationship with you. They were actually looking for a way out, okay? The two of wands. They were looking for a way out, okay? By any means necessary. Maybe you all stopped getting along or things stopped getting, the relationship wasn't as fresh as it used to be for the two of you, but they were looking for a way out, okay? And they found it. They were just walking or, or you end up meeting somebody else, you know, just by happenstance, you know? And that's why. They ghosted you, whatever. They went to somebody else and they left you out in the cold. That's sad. When, when all you have to do was tell me that you didn't want to be with me instead of lying to me, instead of ghosting me, instead of treating me like garbage or gutter trash. You know, so they're in a relationship now with somebody um, possibly very happy, but that doesn't mean it's going to work. Making me mad. Is this person happy in a, another relationship? Outside of Virgo, are they happy? Is this person happy now that they're no longer with Virgo? <laughs> so, no, we got the Eight of Swords and we got the Ten of Pentacles. They're there. I feel this person feels a little stifled, 
a little stuck. You know, they're not, they're wanting to get out of the situation that they're in. Three of Pentacles, you know. Um, so I just think that this person is not as happy. What they're, they're looking at, like, I got to do this. I got to do this. It's like they're putting on a strong front, a strong face. But I don't think that this person is happy. Let's see. Because we got the Eight of Swords. They're staying possibly because of ego, but I don't think they're really happy where they are. Is this person happy outside of Virgo? That's too many, y'all. Is this person happy outside of being with Virgo? We have the Six of Swords, see? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Okay, look. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. So this person is definitely not happy. Okay, they're they're regretful because they left you. They left a good thing for the the whoever that was they they wanted to be with. So I wouldn't even worry about it. Mm -mm. You you better than ever ago. Mm -mm. <laughs> that motherfucker try to come back. Tell him get your shit, get your shit, and get out. Hmm. Making me mad. Shit. What does this person want to say to you, Virgo? What does this person have the audacity to say to my earthly Virgo? What do they want to say to you? An addiction, okay, is affecting this relationship. You're, you already know the answer you seek, okay? This person's probably dealing with somebody who is addicted, okay? And that's a interfering with their relationship. An external party is intruding on this relationship. That's what happened between the two of you, okay? But this person is, is with somebody who's possibly addicted to some things, some substances, other people, other men, other women. And we have your boundaries, okay? Firm boundaries are needed now. So this person has to realize, you know, they need to set some boundaries in their, in their life outside of this connection. They need to move away from this energy because the energy that they got into is not like the energy with you. OK, so this person may seek forgiveness, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. They may come back and say, I'm sorry, it's too motherfucking late now. What what do you possibly have that you have to say to me now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't do it. You did. OK. And I have here a spiritual lesson for you, Virgo. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson that you don't need their punk asses. You don't need that punk ass bitch. I don't know why this reading is making me so upset. Maybe it's triggering me. <laughs> I don't know. What does this person have to say to you, Virgo? And we have past life love. Your soul remembers, remembers this intense connection. Yeah, it was very intense because possibly this was your soulmate. But this is not the end all be all soulmate. You have more than one soulmate in your life. Early, okay. And we have your release. Radical acceptance and surrender <clears throat> can help you let go. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's time for you to let go. It's time for you to let this person go. This this person is, is not even worth your breathing space, Virgo. Look, new love. A new love or a recommitment to love is developing. You got somebody new coming into your life. I wouldn't hold on to this person. I wouldn't, you know what? I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even tell this person to go somewhere and piss on a fucking ant. You know, I, I'm just mad. I don't know why. I'm so angry. <laughs> I'm literally angry, you know, um. And I don't know why I'm so angry. My gosh, um, hurt most mostly, you know. But maybe because we've all experienced this kind of of ghosting in our, in our love life. But I'm actually listening to my message from my head. But hold on, spirit. I'm listening to the whole entire track of uh, waiting to exhale. The whole track. So I'm going to put the whole CD. Uh, so I'm going to put that in the um, the comment section for you. But also the song from which you all hear, have heard me say a lot. Thirty eight special. Um, second chance. So I'm going to put those songs in the comment section. I hope you all listen to them all if you can, uh, because that soundtrack from Waiting to Excel is so beautiful and it, it's so fitting it, with this message here for you all. Okay. And so is that song from 38 Special, Second Chance, which I actually heard this morning in the car, which is why I'm, you know, 
want to put it here for you all too. So yeah, I mean, just, you know, you deserve better. I mean, really, I mean, just, you know, Virgo, we've all been through some shit, okay? But enough is enough. You deserve better. You deserve better even if you have to wait to receive it, okay? Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and just enjoy each other. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your family. And don't let this person keep you down. You know, you may feel bad because you feel this person rejected you. So what? You rejected me. That just makes me so much more beautiful or handsome and inviting and enticing for the next person. So fuck you. 